Good afternoon, everyone. Friday afternoon, finish on a half day. Oh. Finish on a half day, lovely. Get some time to do stuff, you would think. And um, that's what this little vlog is kind of about. It's a vlog about my vlogs, or a lack of my vlogs. I've um, actually like recorded quite a few, um, going back and forth from work and around the car and stuff, but not much has been happening car-wise. So it's been hard to, well, it's not been hard. I got loads to talk about, but just time-wise, I've got literally none of it um, at the moment to really, the biggest problem is editing the footage. Thank you, Mr. Bus Driver. Um, yeah, editing the footage takes so long and I ain't no editor. I, I barely know what the hell I'm doing, which is why the quality of them is so poor. Uh, there's nothing fancy about them. And, and when I watch other vloggers and stuff like that, and you think, oh, that's pretty uh, suave, or that's pretty smooth. I just don't have the time to put in uh, to editing a vlog to make them all really funny and really slick and stuff. I mean, I'd like to, but just don't have the hours. My, my little boy, we went to the hospital yesterday for my little boy's, um, he's 14, 15 months old, for his, his first allergy test. And it turns out he's allergic to like every nut going. And I'm like, oh no, don't be the nut kid. But doesn't matter, just have to read the labels of stuff now. Um, so that he doesn't get, oh, where are they coming from? Behind me or in front of me? Anyway, so yeah, so he's been ill. Um, he's on like his fourth cold in a row. He's just got over a chest infection and ambulance is coming up behind me. So it's been hard to um, get any sleep and he's, he's in this phase where he just literally won't go to sleep unless it's in your arms. He won't fall asleep and putting him down, he wakes up. Um, I'm gonna get out of the way of this ambulance and coincidentally, I need to get some fuel as well. So I'm gonna grab some fuel. Yeah, so easy. It's just a nightmare being, I'm on the first time parent and um, it soaks up so much of your time. But anyway, I'll get onto that later on. Anyway, carrying on. I've not got much battery in this, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, so so being a being a new parent, it's lots of things I didn't I don't know shit about to be honest, and um, it's kicking my balls in to be honest. I'm so fucking knackered the whole time, like a perpetual life of you live micro naps, like power nap to power nap. It's not it's the longest we get is like two and a half hours in a row, and when that goes on for like months on end it's just it's debilitating like my brain practically doesn't work anymore so none of my vlogs are that eloquent and I don't have the vocabulary anymore and um yeah I feel partially retarded now so anyway all the vlogs I've been doing like just being not happy with them um you know what I'm saying in them I tend to dribble a lot not literally but vocally and uh <laughs> so it's Maybe maybe me being extra fussy, maybe you guys don't give a shit, you'll have to let me know. Um, but yeah, that's why I haven't been kicking out too much stuff. You know, I can I can sort of find, you know, the half hour here and there to, to record something. But to edit it, you know, I sit down at night after dinner and I think, oh, I'm just going to do this quickly. And then, you know, little man wakes up and it takes half an hour, put him down, you go back downstairs and you dilly-dally on something and before you know it it's 10 o'clock and I'm like I ain't starting editing now I gotta try get some sleep and then he wakes up and you're up till two o'clock in the morning and it's just yeah anyway so I was really really this is like an apology vlog for not doing anything at the moment but I will get some stuff out uh, hopefully interesting stuff I've got a lot of things to talk about from you know why I haven't been doing on anything on the car um, what I'm waiting for you know plans um, end of season sort of personal summaries or, or reviews of the season um, because I'm super critical of of how I 
go about achieving my goals and um I can't say like I'm I'm truly happy about what what we've done this year I, it sounds like such a bloody whinge doesn't it like not happy you come second in your class and third overall I mean the mixed classes screws up the overall position so I don't really I don't count the whole overall position thing because you're racing against well you're not you're not racing against them at all so why your positions are related to each other I don't know it just makes no bloody sense um, but yeah so being hypercritical you know to finish second in my own series why am I not happy with it uh, you know I'll go over that another in another vlog um, but I guess it comes down to my character and and how seriously I take what I do and, and um, you know I, you go to weekends and I do, everyone else had fun at weekends at, at the uh, the races and stuff and you get those people drinking and partying and stuff I don't do any of that I just I don't have not that I don't enjoy it like in, in that way but I'm not there to do that if I want to go do that sort of stuff I'll go to a fucking club or I'll go to a bar or I'll go out with my mates and stuff I don't go to a fucking race circuit to get smashed it seems counterintuitive but um I go there to try to do what I really love doing and to do it well so you know one or two beers in the evening and a bit of bands fine but you see some people like crawling around the paddock <laughs> around midnight and stuff but that's their own own agenda they do what they want I don't know you know however they want to feel when they wake up in the morning and go racing is their own thing but but yeah um, so this is just a quick one I've taken the long road home now so I don't really know what I should talk about if I should carry on I mean I guess I can always cut out any shit that um, I don't really want to put out because I don't want to cross over into any of the other vlogs but uh, I don't know let's take the back road home I'm going to cut oh that's a wind see this problem when you drive two cars I want to indicate and I turn on the fucking wipers I drive a Japanese car and then a German car and they have shit and different sides and I did a little bit of my vlog on my road my um daily not my day used to be my daily it's not anymore uh my missus uses it and it's a Nissan Stagia an M35 Stagia cracking car and I was banging on about how infinitely reliable it was and how just nothing goes wrong with it and then the very next day a fucking drive shaft pops out for no fucking reason while she's driving it so popped it back in and it feels a bit sloppy doppy to me but we'll see how it goes, see if it stays in there. It might just be because it's low and on these roads, they're so bumpy, the um, the angle of the drive shaft just might have pulled it. Get out of the way. Sorry, but um, might just popped it out. But it's weird how shit that happens. Like my life is just one Murphy's Law stumble into the next one where nothing will go wrong unless I say it's really good and then it will go wrong but that probably happens to a lot of people um, I guess now's as good a time as any I, I can go over a little bit about the season I mean it was it was I'm just babbling now actually one thing I will talk about is and, and this I'm quite excited about is to fill in sort of time I just thought like I I do like a vlog view of like some mates cars and stuff like that and, and put it out there and I thought it'd be quite cool to do on track reviews uh, whilst driving it because it is a fairly unique thing that in whole vlogging whilst driving on a racetrack because it takes a bit of your capacity away from what you're actually trying to do <laughs> maybe um, but like I put it out there and now I've like, had like loads of people offer me their cars to you know to have a have a go in and, and uh, do a little vlog on review of their of their cars which is really cool I think it would be quite a nice little um, sort of sideshow thing because uh, there are some very cool cars uh, out there that people are saying I can have a go in this fucking junction uh, Yeah, so I've got a couple of cool cars that you know that are race cars. Some of them are track day cars, um, and we'll see how that goes because 
if you guys like it, I'll carry on. I'll carry on doing it. And and to be honest, I quite like to. Where, where, I live in the country. Where are the fucking all these all these traffic lights come from? So yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to that. And if if you guys are keen on it, then just let me know, and I'll see if I can push for some more um, to do. The only problem with that really is is you know I'll have to jump on people with their track days and stuff and like you know the time to go to a track and and do it I'm not sure how happy my missus will be me carting myself all around the place to do random track day vlog things but um yeah see how that goes and then another thing someone else brought up or several people have brought up actually is like I'm always saying how I don't actually have the money to go racing and I rely on sponsorship, which I do. And I'm really thankful for everything that um, people help me out with. And I go over that in another vlog, so I don't want to crash on that too much. But someone said, why don't you set up like a, somewhere to donate or like a, you know, a, a Just Giving page or something to help you out um, so that you can concentrate on, on doing it and get more vlogs out and, and hopefully up my production quality and stuff like that and just make it a bit smoother. I'm like great if people want to donate that, that that would be awesome but i have the moral dilemma that i hate the idea and i hate it when other people do it like, you get a lot of other racing drivers out there and they'll put up a just giving page like oh help me i need to get to a race or i need to do this and it's it, if it was like to further their career or something like that and they're on the cusp of breaking into a new championship fine but it's just like random club drivers who put it up and i'm like I, I can't get on board with people donating um, for essentially what is my playtime. It just it just doesn't seem right, you know, because I don't donate to every um, thing that pops up for other people with like health issues and stuff like that or or whatever. I don't donate to all of them that come up. So why should I expect people to don donate to um, my little go play racing fund? Because let's face it, I ain't no pro. This is. Um, just a, a life's ambition it doesn't do anything for anyone else but rather than donate I was I, I have been looking at going patreon so I don't know if I'm big enough to go to patreon or if it will help out but if I can go patreon and actually get some subscribers and so on then it'll allow me to film the vlogs and then pass on the buck of editing to other people I could pay other people to do the editing and it'll be a lot easier for me because then I can concentrate on trying to do some some really good content and then I can get other people who are actually good at editing to do the editing and um, then it'll come out quicker and it'll be a better quality and I think all round you know if, if you guys are keen on what I'm doing or trying to help what I'm doing you know it, it would be awesome to go Patreon um, not really exactly sure how it works or how I transfer viewership from one thing to the other because I'm not going to stop the YouTube channel but I'll probably make Patreon more exclusive and, and um, have Patreon only content you know the, the YouTube probably be I'll just have like uh, the bigger things you know the, the races and, and stuff like that but if you're really keen on following then I think I'll stick most of the nitty gritty bits on um Patreon and it'll also allow me to talk my mind more because I'm trying to be diplomatic and stuff uh, is necessary to a degree I don't want to wind everyone up um, with, with my opinions on stuff but I've always been fairly opinionated on uh, on certain things within racing um, so you know at least if I'm going to say something about someone or something they'll have to pay me to watch it <laughs> so I'm okay with that then uh, so yeah um, I'll, I might take a stab at that and, and, and research that a bit more and see if anyone's willing to do that because then I think that sort of solves the issue of people helping me cover some costs but then also me giving back essentially a product and I won't feel like a user who's doing like a just giving page and just asking for money then not really giving anything back uh, for it so I think that'd be a nice little solution to that problem. Um, yeah, I've got some other, hopefully in a few, maybe in a month or something, I've got another big announcement coming out. Um, got working on some new sponsors, um, 
one really big one company wise you know um, see what they're you know gonna offer and if they offer what they said they're gonna offer I'll be dancing a jig for many many weeks because it would be very cool um, so yeah anyway I'm getting, just turning in home now so I think that's the vlog done I'm surprised the battery lasted to be honest I'll probably cut a lot of the gibberish out of this and the pauses and then me looking dozy but uh, yeah so hopefully this sort of covers a little bit as to why I've been so quiet at the moment blaming other people basically <laughs> it's always the easiest thing to do but anyway I'll catch you later I'm gonna go have lunch now au revoir <laughs>